Hey everybody, I've been thinking a lot about you. I'm in my classroom right now and I'm going to read three books by Todd Parr. I love Ted, Todd Parr and I love sitting in a big, comfy, cushy chair to read. I hope you're doing lots of reading. This book is called The Feelings Book by Todd Parr. This is the dedication. He dedicated it to a lot of his friends. When you write a book, you can dedicate it to your friends and family. Sometimes I feel silly. And sometimes I feel cranky. Sometimes I feel scared. And sometimes I feel like standing on my head. Sometimes I feel like reading my book under the covers. Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday, even if it's, even though it's not today. Sometimes I feel brave. Sometimes I feel like looking out the window all day. Sometimes I feel like dancing. That's me a lot, I always feel like dancing. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. Sometimes I feel like I have a tummy ache. He's eating catnip. Sometimes I feel like holding hands with a friend. Sometimes I feel lonely. Sometimes I feel like yelling really loud. And sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day. And that's okay. Sometimes I feel like trying something new. And sometimes I feel like dressing up. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing. There's those ing chunks. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog. And sometimes I feel like crying. Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. Sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. Sometimes I feel like a king or a queen or like royalty. No matter how you feel, don't keep your feelings to yourself. Share them with someone you love. Love, Todd. How are you feeling right now? Can you relate to anyone in this book? This book is called The Thankful Book. I'm starting to feel really, really thankful to be able to film these videos and share reading time with all of you. Todd Park. Oh, is he taking a picture? Every day, I try to think about the things I'm thankful for. I am thankful for my hair because it makes me unique. I am thankful for my ears because they let me hear words like I love you. I am thankful for my garden because I like to watch things grow. I am thankful for my shadow because it makes me look taller. Have you ever gone outside and noticed that on a sunny day? I am thankful for bubble baths because they keep me squeaky clean. Just like the other book. I am thankful for the underwear because I like to wear it on my head. <clears throat> I am thankful for my friends because they make me smile. I am thankful for my pets because they keep me warm. I am thankful for vacations because I get to see new people and places. I am thankful for walks because they are special time for just you and me. I am thankful for my hands because they help me give special gifts. I am thankful for my feet because they help me run and play. I am thankful for music because it makes me want to dance, just like in the other book. I am thankful for colors because they make me want to paint. Have you been getting a chance to paint and do art at home? 
I am thankful for school because I love to learn new things. This is a school of fish right here. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One teacher, that makes 10. Nine and one is 10. I am thankful for the library because it is filled with endless adventures. We love going to the library. I am thankful for healthy food because it keeps me strong. Me too. I am thankful for the fall because I like to jump in leaves. I am thankful for the winter because I like to build snowmen. I am thankful for the hugs because they make me feel good. I am thankful for kisses because they make me feel loved. I am thankful for holidays because they bring my family together. There are lots of things to be thankful for. Try to remember them, some of them every day. The end, love Todd. I like keeping a gratitude journal of things that I'm thankful for and writing in it each day and trying to challenge myself to think of new things every day. And speaking of family, I hope that you're getting a lot of good time with family right now. So we're gonna read one more Todd Parr book called The Family Book. The Family Book by Todd Parr. And he has a dedication to his family who sometimes did not always understand him but encouraged him to go after everything he wanted even when, he did, when they did not agree. As he now realizes, this takes a lot of love to do. Some families are big, and some families are small. Some families are the same color, some families are different colors. All families like to hug each other. Some families live near each other, and some families live from each other. Some families look alike. Some families look like their pets. <laughs> All families are sad when they lose someone they love. Some families have a stepmom or stepdad and stepsisters or stepbrothers. Some families adopt children. Some families have two moms or two dads. Some families have one parent instead of two. All families like to celebrate special days together. Ooh, their grandma must be turning 100. Some families eat the same things. Some families eat different things. That's like my family. Whenever we get together, we all like eating different things. Some families like to be quiet. Some families like to be noisy. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Some families like to be clean. And some families like to be messy. Some families live in a house by themselves. Some families share a house with other families. All families can help each other be strong. That's for sure. There are lots of different ways to be a family. Your family is special no matter what kind it is. Love, Todd. And there's a picture of him with his family of dogs. I hope you enjoyed reading all the Todd Parr books today, the family book, the thankful book, the feelings book. Maybe you can do an activity right now, drawing your feelings, writing some things you're grateful for down. 
and drawing a picture of everyone in your family. Don't forget all the details. What would people in your family say? Don't forget to label them. All right, take care for now. Stay tuned for more stories. Bye.